Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mikhail Tal and John van der Wiel. This game was played in Moscow in 1982. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with c4. John van der Wiel played e6. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, b6, e4, bishop to b7, white to move. Bishop to d3 was played. Quite often, white plays d3 in this position. Tal played bishop to d3. c5. Tal castled kingside. Knight to c6. White to move. e5 was played. Knight to g4. Bishop to e4. Queen to c8. If knight went g, Takes on e5, knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5, bishop takes bishop on b7. Another way for black to go in this position is f5. Then bishop takes on c6, bishop takes on c6, rook to e1. John Wanderville played queen to c8. Black is going to win the pawn on e5. d3, knight on g takes on e5. Knight takes knight, knight takes knight, and black is a pawn up. f4, knight to c6, perhaps bishop takes on e4 should have been considered, and after f takes on e5, bishop to g6. Knight to c6 was played, f5, g6, which pawn to take? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Mikhail Tal played bishop to g5. g takes on f5. White to move. How should white continue? To take the knight or to play bishop to f3? What would you do? Mikhail Tal played bishop takes pawn on f5. Black to move. After thinking long and hard, bishop to e7 was played. If pawn takes bishop, queen to e2, check. And John van der Wille didn't like this variation. So we have bishop to e7, queen to h5, bishop takes on g5, queen takes on g5, knight to e7. If pawn takes bishop, one line goes like this. Rook from a to e1, check. King to f8. Queen to h6 check, king to g8, knight to d5, and black would be crushed. Back to our game, knight to e7, bishop to e4, bishop takes on e4, knight takes on e4, the threat is knight to f6 check, and there is another small threat, knight to d6 check, winning the queen, queen to c6, white to move. This is another very interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find knight to f6 check? This is not the move. Then black would play king to d8, and after rook from a to e1, king to c7, and black is okay. The king is safe. And black is a pawn up. Back to our game. This is the position. Mikhail Tal sacrificed the rook on f7. King takes rook. What else? If knight to g6, rook from a to f1, and white is winning. So we have king takes rook. Queen to f6 check. King to g8. Queen takes knight. Threatening knight to f6, checkmate. Rook to f8. White to move. White. Play the move and black resigned. What would you do? Mikhail Tal played rook to f1. And John van der Wiel resigned in view of this variation. Rook takes rook. King takes rook. And what now? After something like e5, knight to f6, check. And the only way to prolong the game is a queen takes knight, then a queen takes queen. And I guess we can stop here. Imagine 
you can understand the mind of Tal. How much would you pay for it? Grandmaster Simon Williams will help you to understand the mind of Tal in his DVD called Play Like Tal. It is a DVD worth having. With that DVD, you will get other DVDs like playing the killer endgames and much, much more. Please click on the link below the video and download your copy right now.